Caribbean or, or interested in Caribbean cookery will probably recognize it because what I'm going to make is some chow which you already know from the title um, but what I'm going to use is these pears now I'm, I've become a bit of a fan of chow since I first tasted it in Trinidad last um, August and again this June when I was over in uh, Trinidad again and uh, I've become a bit of an addict so I'm constantly looking for things that will work with chow and generally what happens is is if you can find a, a fruit that's fairly hard and perhaps a little bit unripe um, you're well on your way to having the ingredients for a good chow. I personally like the addition of cucumber in my chow. Uh, you'll need some uh, Caribbean green seasoning and in addition I want mine to be uh, a river lime heat chow so I'm using this uh, Hilda's uh, Shadon Benny sauce which is pretty awesome let's see if I can show you that close up or let's show you that close up that's Hilda's premium shadow benny sauce and that's made in Canucta in Trinidad and I've seen that at a lot of fairs um, and um, food shows in Trinidad so I, I, I think that it's probably uh, certainly gaining in popularity in, in the islands okay so I'm going to start by just topping and tailing them and then split them down the middle like that and then again down there and again down there and I'll do this for each one and once they're in this position it's easier to remove the pit which I do like that so it comes out fairly easily and then once I've removed the pit I give it another slip and throw it into the bowl how's that so let me just get through the rest of these and I'll get back to you and where they have this um, this sort of long stringy bit in the middle leading up to the pips which are still showing rather uh, as, as it's rather an immature fruit um, just cut that out uh, as much as you can and then we continue uh, slitting them lengthways and adding them to the bowl I didn't think my brother would like this but Richard um, still continues to surprise me even after knowing him for the best part of 60 years um, he actually likes it so I'm, I'm just going to throw in all my spring onions because I love spring onions or scythe as you call them in Trinidad I'm going to chuck in that as well because I can and I'm going to want I'm going to add my green seasoning right all of that in right now get in there down and dirty with your hands don't be shy just get in there connect with your food people I think that's going to need a bit more seasoning and because I want it nice and hot I'm going to chuck in um, bit of this uh, I'm going to chuck in two teaspoons of shadow benny sauce now let's make it three because it can and then we taste it and see where we are uh, the thing I want to do I've got some uh, fresh coriander because I'm using I'm using frozen um, I, I make my green seasoning in batches and freeze it up uh, out of necessity because I can only get the shadow benny on certain occasions um, bandania that is I, and I can only get it on certain occasions so I make up my green seasoning ahead of time and freeze it 
So let's get all that in there and get mixing. So all, all I did there was adding a little um, fresh coriander or dania. Um, and if you want to link to how to make green seasoning, there'll be one appearing in the top of your screen right now. And that's to Taste of Trini's recipe. And if you want the lowdown on excellent uh, food from Trinidad and Tobago, then um, Taste of Trini is your one-stop shop. Right, I'm going to give this a taste. It's kind of there. Needs more heat. Needs more. Needs more punch. So I'm going to add in a bit more of this. Rather nice. I'm, I'm enjoying this. This is rather good. This um, pepper sauce. So what? I've added another, say, two, three teaspoons of that. And again, I'm going to get in there with my fingers. I'm not adding any citrus to this. I don't think it needs it. It's got a nice, um, nice tangy taste as it is. Um, one thing I could add, possibly, is add a, a tiny bit of um, tamarind sauce, but um, I don't really think I need to do that with this. I think it's nice as it is. It's, it's tasty and it's got that lovely spikiness. Mmm. Yeah. I'm going to enjoy that. So there you go, um, that's um, Trinidad style chow made with uh, British conference pears. Lovely, crunchy, delicious, spiky, hot, um, wonderful. I'm going to really enjoy that and so is my brother. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to follow my channel, please subscribe and be sure to click the bell icon to receive notification of all my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.